everybody, it's John from Florida Adventures here doing another product review on the Bare Butt Zapper Hammock Bug Net. This thing weighs in at about 10 ounces. Uh, we received this product from the Bare Butt Company. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw it up on the original line. This is made for hammocks. It'll fit regular hammocks, the, si the single hammocks, it'll fit the double hammocks, and it'll fit a wide variety of hammock companies. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this up. It is based on a structural ridge line that you're going to need for your hammock. So basically you can see my setup here. I've got my hammock with the ridge line strung up between two trees here. This thing is available on Amazon for around $40, which is a good price. I know the Eno uh, Guardian bug net uh, runs about $60. So this is actually a really, really good competitor to the Eno bug net. Um, you get a, pretty much the same quality at a little little more than you know half the price but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this thing up for you guys and we'll show you how it works okay so the way you set this thing up is a little complicated but if you're here in Florida like I just got bit by a huge mosquito scratching myself we're getting bit all over the place so this is an absolute necessity here in Florida or any kind of muggy buggy climate so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this up here it has its included stuff sack that's sewn into it so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bug net out unroll it. Oh, it comes with its own ridge line, which I'm actually not a fan of that string. It's not that great, so I do a nice paracord ridge line just to get some, uh, some beef to it. So how I set this thing up goes like this. It's got the horizontal zipper that goes across the front. What I like to do is put my arm through it. Yeah, it's going to sag on the ground a little bit, but just be careful not to snag it on any sticks. The material seems pretty durable, but I guess if you got like a stick or a rock caught in there, it would probably rip it. So I stick my arm all the way through with the hooks at the top. I set my hammock up to the level that I want here. So you're going to have to undo your hammock once you get it to the tension that you want. Take this off, and then what I do is I just feed the bug net onto the hammock just like so. Set this thing back up. My quick release knots here. Okay. So on each end here, you have a kind of a zip and lock system here. So I go right over the carabiners, lock it on there. Do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go ahead put the hammock stuff sack on, just kind of walk it across here and do the same thing, just cinch this down on the opposite side here, just like that. So no mosquitoes are gonna get through there. And last step is just to take these clips, go down the line, flip it up. There you go. And if you take a step back, take a look at it, the thing I like about this bug net is it's got the, a lot of the hammocks you get with the included bug net have just the bug net on the top and the nylon material is so thin. I've noticed on camping trips here in Florida that the mosquitoes will bite you right through the bug net or right through the, uh, the bottom of the hammock. So what I like about this bug net is it sags way low to the ground so that way when you're sitting in your hammock, the bugs can't get you from underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and like I said, a nice horizontal zipper here, zip it all the way down. Throw it over your head. The hammock's probably gonna creak and pop a couple times because I had to reset it. But we're good. Kick the shoes off. Take those rocket. And put the net back over your head. Uh, it becomes kind of a balancing act. So make sure, I guess, when you uh, unzip the zippers, don't put them all the way down because it's kind of a pain to get to them. But you have double zippers here and there you have some bug protection I have my hammock set up kind of tight so it's not really that wide but if you lay diagonally kind of push it out a little bit and you have some good bug, bug protection and can you see underneath that's some good protection underneath there yeah sagging underneath the hammock so not too shabby all right so Here's the view from inside the hammock and bug net. Got a view of the trees. It hangs off your face and body pretty well. 
I haven't used this in an actual camping scenario, but just kind of hanging out here right now, the bugs have stopped. It's got a lot of positive reviews on the, uh, the protection from the bugs. So I guess we'll take this out on a trip and test it out sometime soon and get back to you guys and show you how well it holds up. But uh, as for now, straight out of the box, we're happy with it. It's a good price point for around $40. You guys can go ahead and check it out. Thanks for coming with us on this one.